It took a long time for Katie to be able to use language. My name's Barbara, I'm Katie's mom. Um, Katie has a diagnosis of autism and developmental delay. She has difficulty with social engagement. She has difficulty with language, accessing language and using language. She also has sensory motor integration challenges. It's always a struggle for her when she's feeling dysregulated or if she's feeling emotional to access words. And that probably will always be a challenge for her. I want to say fruit, everybody. It's an apple. For Katie, Music has been um, a very powerful way in on all of those things. She is my only child. I didn't have kids the old-fashioned way, but I'm pleased to say we were able to adopt her from China. Black G, C, F, E flat G.
We have always sought out musical experiences for Katie because early on when she was a small child, she showed us that she's very motivated by everything auditory. She picks up an object and the first thing she does is try to find out what kinds of sounds that she can make with it and she's been doing that since she was able to pick up anything. What I try to do when I'm working with um, kids' ability, and each one of those kids is totally, you know, unique and, and individual, and they have their own very strong personalities. And so, just try to, to develop each one's what their potential maybe is. Music is, music is melody. It's harmony. It's rhythm. It's it can be so many, so many things. No matter where. Jane brought ideas in where where the children could pick a subject or an object and focus on the the emotion that came from those um, experiences and bring bring the children together to play music around that feeling and for Katie it was bypassing language that I think um, helped her to engage with Jane and Jane's willingness to bypass language and use the music to communicate directly. Katie sees Jane and she beams. If you ask her who did she play jazz with, she says Jane. That tells me how powerful Jane's personality was for Katie. Well, my first memories of Katie uh, were, I think I put, I don't know if it was a drum in her hands or it could have been um, one of the tongue drums, which uh, my brother makes these, these wooden tongue drums, um, which we, you hit with the mallets. She played them a little. But it, I found it was when she got to the keyboard, that's when she kind of like really took off. Not sure if it's because they're, uh, the they're, they're it's electronic keyboard and um, the, the, the duration of the sound wave is so long that she must be you know really feeling the um, you know the vibrations of the of the note. You know like you could really feel the the growth between each sort of get together. One day she actually just sort of almost knocked me right over running to get to the piano, <laughs> which was kind of cute. <laughs> and, uh, I think her mom said, um, say hello. <laughs> was very sweet. When it came to the time to do Katie's piece, because we developed pieces of music for each musician in the group, um, Katie's piece developed into a very hymn-like, um, anth almost anthem-like piece. Very, very deep, very dense, and um, so we just kept working along that that line. Maybe just hand those out for a second. Just want to 
experiment. I just remember, you know, when we played together that this, there was just sort of a bit of like electricity. It was just, un, it was just unusual. Just, you just felt that she was deeply listening to, to what I was playing. Sometimes I would follow her, sometimes she would follow me. So there was an exchange of, um, of, of musical lines. One more time and we end. So there was a very interesting dialogue, you know, that was happening between us uh, on, on our instruments. Okay, the end. Very, very inspiring, it was fascinating. That's the end! Yay! Beautiful! Almost the end! Yeah, well, okay, she's got a bit of that in me where I, I don't want the song ever to sometimes end. So uh, she'll, she'll, she'll just play for, the, for uh, you know, for, for a long time. At the show. You know, she's funny because she'll just all of a sudden switch a timbre. It'll be a certain sound on the keyboard, and she'll be like, no, boom, and then hit something else and, and make a change. And the whole thing will, like, shift. Uh, the sounds will just totally, totally change. And I don't think, you know, I don't think it's arbitrary. I mean, music is supposed to be for everybody's, you know, enjoyment. So um, to see somebody playing a, a musical instrument and, and I mean, it's been really rewarding to, you know, to know her and, and get the feedback from, from her also. I guess Jane brought to mind for me that, that I think it was Ornette Coleman who said, go to the territory and you will find the adventure. Jane Bennett and others like her have been willing to go to the territory of playing music with our kids who have special needs in this community and they sure as heck have found an adventure for us, for our kids, for our community. You are so oh, so into music, aren't you? <laughs> Very. Good friend with her. Sorry, guys. It's like something about there, so she does not putting the pressure on the kids with the, the verbal, class, right? Right. She gets to express, express herself and yeah. be yeah. understood yeah. without words. Awesome. Right, right. Matt, Communicating that way. Yes, yeah, that's awesome. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> it makes it, it really um, means a lot to us. It does. Right, Katie? Okay. Can you say bye? See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Okay, ready to go? Is that fine?
Katie just turned 16 and she's a teenager. What can I say? <laughs> she has a lot, a lot of things going on that teenagers have going on. Well, it's such a roller coaster ride with Katie. Getting Katie to the jazz tent was touch and go. You know, um, she was dysregulated at the park. She was upset. She was concerned about what was now, what was next, what to expect. And you know, we went over the daily schedule and we talked about how things were going to go afterward. And I wasn't sure she was going to be able to participate. But once she got there and started to settle and enjoy and forget herself in a way, like just to be there in the moment. For that moment, for that moment I could see Katie's joy and I need to see that sometimes. I mean, I, I guess it's not about me, but I, to see Katie's joy is what I live for really. I bring her to these places and spaces to try for that, to try for that peak experience, I guess, for her so that she has these things to remember so that when she is unhappy, she can go back to her happy spaces and times and places in her memories. So we were building a positive memory. And also I have to add that the sense of community that we felt in that tent with everyone in the tent pulling for our kids to do well and to celebrate their success. It was just um, there. I'm a kind of a verbal person, but for me, that was one of those moments that was beyond words. So I was grateful for it. I mean, it was it was really um, tears of joy, tears of um, celebration. And, you know, just to say, OK, here we are right now. There's my little one doing her thing. I just love seeing her do her thing. And she was doing it so beautifully. And Jane made it, you know, it, it, it just soared. Jane made it soar.
for our junior dancers. For the dancers. Stay up, dancers. We have a real great number coming up. The quote was, imagine that music can change the world. Behold. Thank you to Jane Bennett and the Kids Ability Youth Ensemble.